Gabriella Cardi, and I teach anatomy awareness at Dance New Amsterdam. Uh, Lynn Simonson started the anatomy awareness class to give students an experiential knowledge of how their own bodies work so that we could work on answering the questions that there just isn't time for in a regular technique class. So today we're going to look at one of the biggest injury issues for dancers. Um, knee problems are a very large issue and most of the time they come from using too much rotation, too much turnout happening below the knee or at the knee joint. If this happens, the joint can twist. The ligaments um, can be injured, sometimes torn. The meniscus, which helps to hold the joint together, can be jeopardized. Those tissues can be torn. My student, Johanna, can demonstrate that there is a lot of possibility for rotation below the knee. If she holds her thigh fairly still, go ahead and move into the turn out. There's a lot of range that can happen in this turnout. Now, she's not bearing weight on this, but in a weight-bearing situation, such as going across the floor, doing chasses, things like that, that knee gets a lot of pressure, and the inside part, which is the part that's the most vulnerable, is the part that's usually uh, that is not supported in this position. Johanna, like many other dancers and other people, is tighter on the outside and not as tight on the inside. So when her legs are left free, they angle slightly out to the sides. And that's illustrating the tightness out here. One exercise that we're going to start with to help with this is give her a little reminder of the inside. So now, as she's holding the block, her legs are obliged to maintain an alignment. You can even see, possibly, if you can pull the camera way in, how these muscles in here are starting to shake a little bit because they're needing to work harder. And then on the way down, she gets a little stretch along the outside while still maintaining the support along the inside. And take that a few more times. Great, thank you. Good, nice, yes. So again, she's working very, very hard in this inside now. And that gives a chance for the outside to get a break. Good, beautiful. So for this exercise, we're going to work on training the lower leg alignment to stay in line, setting up a memory of your foot and your thigh staying in pretty much the same position. So Joanna is set up here. She's got her lower leg fairly parallel, other leg fairly parallel. Now go ahead and turn this out and flex your foot. So again, this would be over rotation. So we want to bring her leg back into as clear a rotation matching her hip as possible, matching the angle of her thigh. And going to flex and point your foot, keeping that angle, it can help to keep your fingers here so that you can feel that that inside of the knee, inside quadricep muscle, is still staying active. You may feel as well a little stretch in the outside of the knee. And take a couple more of those. As she's working her leg here, she's building a muscle memory of having her knee in line with her second toe. She's also actually opening up her hip, so her hip will be a little bit more relaxed at the end of this exercise. And let that go, and just set your foot down. So now, I'm going to work with strengthening rotation from the hip. We've already established leg alignment, and want to strengthen the rotator muscles so that turnout stays supported up above. So in this position, side lying on the chair, Johanna has her knee right in line with her thigh, so she's making a right angle, going to rotate now from the hip. So leg is coming down like an overcross attitude. It won't turn very far. Good. That's it. So you don't want to push it with your foot. Don't want to try to make it more than it is. 
just looking for the rotation here. This works those rotator muscles very strongly. It's quite a sensation doing just a few of them. That's it. Good. And let that relax. So we've worked on dealing with this problem in several different ways. We've worked on getting excess tension out of the outside of the thigh, supporting through the inside. We've worked on guiding the leg in a turned out line so that the foot alignment and the thigh alignment are staying as similar as possible. And we've also worked on strengthening the rotator muscles of the hip. Thank you very much, Johanna. Thank you very much, um, Anatomy Awareness at Dance New Amsterdam, along with many other styles of dance. Hope you'll come see us.